Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day. And in my hands is one of those releases. This is Marvel Tales Black Widow. Now, Marvel Tales is uh, kind of packaging of a bunch of comics uh, out, basically reprints. And it's to celebrate Marvel's 80th anniversary. They're, they're doing a bunch of Marvel Tales focused on specific characters. Uh, they start with Fantastic Four, which had a misprint in it. Then there was the Venom one, which seemed to have really odd choices of comics. And now we've got uh, this one featuring Black Widow, and I would say it's much more packed, seems to be much more worthwhile, actually way more interesting too. So this uh, features Mystic Comics number 4, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, from George Capitan and Harry Saul. We've got Tales of Suspense number 52, Stan Lee, Don Rico, Don Heck, Sam Rosen, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 86, Stan Lee, John Romita, Jim Mooney, Sam Rosen, Amazing Adventures number 1, Gary Friedrich, John Buscema, uh, John Ver, uh, John Verporten, Art Simic, and then Stan Lee. Marvel Fanfare number ten: Ralph Macchio, George Perez, Brett Breeding, uh, Petra Scott, Tez, Tom Orzakowski, and then Red Widow: First Strike, which is uh, uh, looks like a teaser story from what I from what I know uh, for the for there's a book that's coming out called uh, Red Widow or Black Widow Forever Red. Uh, this one's by Margaret Stoll, Nick Leon, Andres Mosa. Uh, Travis Lanham, Charles Beecham, and Santa uh, Aminat is the editor. Uh, this one feels really, really worth it as far as purchasing. If you're interested in Black Widow, this is really cool. But the thing that stands out to me about this is that inclusion of Mystic Comics number four. Um, it's not the Black Widow that we know of. I'm going to see if it actually has a year as to when that came out. Uh, Black Widow, since 1963... Uh, is when the, the Black Widow that we know debuted, but Golden Age Comics, early 1940s, Mystic Tales number 4, also introduced a character called Black Widow. Very different. Um, think more of kind of a tool of Satan uh, that does exactly what she does, is, you know, kill men. And it's a fascinating piece of history that I think is really, really good and really cool to check out. Um, really impressed with it. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a solid kind of that, like, very EC Comics, horror-tinged story um, that is just of the, kind of of that time. Not superhero, but um, it's some cool stuff. It's a really, really cool piece of history. Um, the rest of it, like, it takes you through various stages of Black Widow um, through her history. We get to see her evolve a bit as a character, which is, which is interesting. And some solid stuff. And then there's this Red Strike, uh, Red Widow First Strike comic. Uh, which is the uh, kind of a teaser for this book that's out or coming out. I don't know if it is out, coming out, whatever. Uh, that's really, really cool. Um, I really dig the art. I, I like the style. Uh, the story is, I think, solid. It's obviously modern times, so uh, I dig it a lot more. Uh, so this is, we'll go through the art a little bit. This is the Mystic Comics number four. Check out the, the old school art there. Uh, you know, again, some of the issues I, I do have with this, it looks like they have maybe have, like, updated the coloring and, and the style a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, looks like things might have been updated a little bit with the color, so, uh, it kind of is what it is. I don't know for sure, it's just the color seems really kind of odd compared to something like, you know, the, this, I think this is Tales of Suspense. Um, some of the art seems a little bit different, and... I, I would imagine some of that has to do with just kind of restoring what, you know, what they had, which is cool. Um, I just kind of wish there was maybe some indications of when they did that sort of stuff. Yeah, a little Black Widow versus uh, Spider-Man action. And then I, I kind of really want to show off the uh, the Red Widow uh, art, because I think the art is, is really cool. I dig this art a lot. I think there's some really solid stuff that's done in this. The style of coloring is really neat. Um, overall, like out of, out of the three Marvel Tales they put out, I think this is the best one. Um, every issue is really interesting. The inclusion of the Mystic Comics is awesome. The the Red Widow first strike is really cool. It's just, it really feels like your money's worth. Um, again, just kind of like the Marvel Decades, I wish there was a little bit more about the history in here. But that's about it. Maybe, like, with the original comics, like, if they restored stuff, that would be nice to know. Uh, but beyond that, really cool uh, thing. If, if you're in a Black Widow and you've never checked out these comics before, great pickup. It's out today in comic shops. 
Go support your comic shop. There's a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code or tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We got some affiliate links, but they are affiliate links, so we do get a percentage of that. But go support your comic shop. And speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it. We like to be transparent as when we get stuff for free. Uh, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Marvel, Black Widow, comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.